Hi all, Dr. Lisa here. Thanks for joining me again in another one of my videos on how to improve fertility naturally. And in this case, what I'm talking about is not specifically how to improve your fertility naturally, but AMH and birth control and testing. Um, so if you're on your fertility journey and you've talked to a reproductive endocrinologist, you've probably had them test your AMH. Now it's important to understand what AMH means. And it's also important to understand the effects of birth control on AMH. So I'm getting my information from an article entitled Duration, Recency, and Type of Hormonal Contraceptive Use and Anti-Malarian Hormone Levels. Basically, what's the effect of birth control on AMH? It was a research study done, led by um, Leah Bernardi, MD, published on July 1st, 2021 in the Journal of Virility uh, fertility and sterility. The reason this article caught my eye is because a lot of my patients will come in having been on birth control for a while and tell me that their doctor said that their AMH was terrible and they had to do IVF. Hold on, not so fast. You need to understand what AMH is and you need to understand how birth control can affect that because birth control has a profound effect on the level of your AMH. Okay, so AMH anti-malarian hormone is a really rough measure of how many follicles you have in development in your body. Okay. And it is a uh, reproductive endocrinologist. Look at this number to kind of determine how successful your IVF is going to be in terms of the number of eggs available for them to retrieve. Now I want you to think about what birth control and, and it, it does seem like a reasonable measure, right? Which I agree. It's like, if you don't have that many eggs, then going through the very expensive process of IVF, you kind of need to know if it's going to be worthwhile or not. And you kind of need to have a sense of how successful it's going to be because it's a really expensive process. Here's the issue. If you have been on birth control recently, especially if you have been on birth control for a long time, the whole point of birth control is to suppress ovulation but it's not just suppressing ovulation, it's suppressing the process of your body bringing the hibernating follicles that you have, or not hibernating, every woman is born with all of the follicles that she's, eggs she's ever gonna make. And you, you sort of batch develop them. And all of these proto follicles that you have are brought up into development in a batch system. So if you've been on birth control for a really long time, what birth control does is it actually suppresses that developmental process. AMH measures how many follicles you have in development. And if you've been on birth control for any length of time, that whole process has been squashed. So what that means is that your AMH levels are going to be low. So if you've recently gotten off birth control, and that can be anywhere from a month to even six to eight months, because it can take a long time for that whole process to start back up again. The longer you've been on birth control, it can be the longer that process takes to start up. Of course, your AMH is going to be low because you don't have a lot of eggs in process or in development because your brain has been told by the birth control we don't want those eggs in, develop, in process. Now, um, the good news is it will improve. After you've been off birth control and after your brain has been allowed to reestablish normal hormonal secretions and your ovaries respond by starting to bring up more follicles into development, then your AMH will go up over time. I recently had a patient come in and she was told she was not a candidate for IVF because her AMH levels were low and also her FSH and LH were low. And I asked her, when did you get off birth control? And she said, two months ago. I'm like, no, 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 no. Let's hold on. Let's work on, you know, these, these changes that you can make. Let's do some acupuncture, do some supplements, do some herbs, but I can guarantee you that your FSH is going to go down and your AMH will go up because it's a reflection, not of the actual number of follicles you could bring in development. It's a measure of how many follicles are currently in development after you suppressed it for years and years and years. So that's the way it worked out. Her FSH numbers have come back down into a much better range and her AMH numbers are going up because her body is reestablishing her hormonal processes of bringing eggs into development. So don't despair if you've been on birth control and your AMH is low. 
Getting off the birth control means that you will at least set the stage for your AMH to recover. Will it absolutely guaranteed 100% recover? Mm, that I can't say because every body is different. But based on this research study, absolutely you need to give it a few months because as a 90 day developmental process, you need to be off birth control for a minimum of 90 days. And I think it's probably longer than that if you've been on birth control for a long time for your body to reestablish normal hormonal functioning and normal ovarian functioning. If you're interested in ways that you can, steps you can take to improve your fertility on your own, check out my course at fertilityresetonline.com. I have a very comprehensive course on what you can do to improve your fertility um, and how to track it and what supplements you can take and all of the different steps that you can do to help you um, improve your fertility. If you'd like to actually look at this article, I've got all the information down below in the information. Check out my other videos here on YouTube, like and subscribe um, so that you can get updates on uh, new videos that I post. I work exclusively in terms of helping you improve your fertility and letting you know what you can do to make that happen.